You don't need God to succeed. Am I teaching here? You don't need God to succeed. Look at Warren Buffett. Look at Bill Gates. Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs, who, who invented Apple, said there is no God. That God is a figment of the imagination of a poor man. That it is because you are poor and you don't know how to cure poverty. So you create a God inside your mind that does not exist. That is Steve Jobs, the owner of Apple. Very successful. So you don't need God to succeed. So we don't come to church to succeed. I don't know if I'm teaching here. Listen, you don't need God to prosper. The richest people on earth don't know Christ and they don't care about him. That's why it is the preaching of the cross. And to those out there, it is foolish. That means they don't need that preaching to build houses. They don't need that preaching to make millions and billions. They don't need it. So that's why when somebody say, I am called to preach prosperity, there is no such message. Oh my goodness. There is no message of prosperity. There is the message of the cross. I feel like I'm preaching here. If you're hearing, shout, I hear, I hear. Yeah. There is, there is no message of prosperity. So the question is, do Christians prosper? Yes. Just like unbelievers prosper. Are we here? So prosperity is not unique to Christianity. Prosperity is for all. If you do what you need to do and you do it well, you succeed. If you do what you need to do and you do well, you prosper. You make money without prayer. What is unique to us is the message. What is unique to us is the message. I told them somewhere, miracles are not exclusive to Christianity. Miracles are not exclusive to us. There are magicians. There are native doctors. There are, there, are, there are people into diabolical things that perform magic and miracles. So miracles are not peculiar to us. You remember? Moses came before Pharaoh. Pharaoh called magicians. They perform miracles. Moses also performed miracles. Are we together here? Same thing. So that you saw a miracle is not enough for you to say you are saved. When Jesus was here, most of the people he healed didn't believe in him. After healing them, they went away. They were not interested. Are we together here? So, a miracle is not enough to save a soul. That's what I'm saying. People don't get saved by miracles. Now, don't get me wrong. Christianity has miracles, but it's not our focus. You didn't hear what I said. Christianity has miracles, but that's not our focus because that's not exclusive to us. What is exclusive to us is the message. What is the message? The preaching of the cross. To them that perish is foolishness, but unto us that are saved, it is the power of God. I prophesy to the first 500 whose amen will come like thunder. You will manifest power. You will demonstrate power. You will shake your generation. You will shake your world. Somebody shout, I hear, I hear. Sit down, cross your legs, shout, I am in charge. The preaching of the cross to them that perish is foolishness. So what is the cross? Because tonight I want to begin with the revelation of the cross. Then tomorrow I will deal with the power of the cross. Zatonagaga. God punish the devil. What is the cross? And sometimes you will hear people say, thank you Lord for the cross. The cross of Jesus was the most sacred teaching of the gospels that the disciples never understood. They never understood. Jesus would look at Peter and say, I will die, I will be buried. Peter said, don't try it. Nobody can touch you. 
not while I am here. I have my knife in my pocket. Any attempt, I will take them out. Peter, even Peter, the chief apostle, couldn't understand the mystery 